Okay, so I'm in drums here. Now I want to go to uh, Rhodes. And this is a plug-in setting I have here. And I'm soloing this track out to get an idea what's going on here. Now, when I go to Program Edit for like a plug-in, this gives me the plugins parameters. So for example, wait, let me close this out. Close that out of there. Now you'll see here I have this plugin, which is the Fabric Electric Piano. And it's a suitcase, soft suitcase, or suitcase soft. And it's a soft Fender Rhodes type sound. If I want to change the parameters, it's very simple. I come to here, I may want to change a little more delay. Bring delay down some more. Get some more attack. Or less attack, really. Some resonance. I can have reverb too if I want. Keep it low like that. I can also change the percussion part of it when it's striking that hand down. Get more of a strike to it. See that? Pull this back down again. The piano sound and the overall vibe can be improved here. Okay, that's pretty cool. So I can play this back with the track a little bit. And that's just a plug-in for that track. Now, other parts of the same project are going to be uh, a synth. There's a synth part here, a melody part. I'm going to solo this out here, and I can play, it. play that back there. And you'll see, of course, the keys are right here as well. And this is a plug-in program, but obviously, it's a keyboard program. So it's going to show you the keys right here. Not all plugins are going to be just keys. Now there's more in here also as well. I can go to, let's see, uh, is a pluck. But first I want to just go back to synth melody, turn off the solo, and we're going to go to pluck next. There it is right there. On the program. Now this is tube synth. And you'll see when you have programs that are actually plugins, those plugins should have their own program settings, not ones that uh, Kai makes up, but each plugin manufacturer will have their settings. For example, you can see there's a chorus here. Set up control destination, LFO 2, LFO 1 for low frequency oscillation. Here we have an envelope 2, envelope 3. So a lot goes on inside these uh, parameters for any keyboard. Just check it out and learn more about what certain parameters do. But the real deal is that every single one of the plugins comes with a preset. So for example here, I come to here, I got presets. I can pick a preset I like, then go with it. And one more we have here, I believe it's like there's a bass line here somewhere. Here it is. Oh, there's a bass line. So we go back out of here. We're going to go back to the pluck, uh, take off the solo, and then we're going to go to the bass line, which will be the next sound up, which is bass, synth bass here. Or synth bass says there, and I'll just come back to you, solo it. There you go. And stop that. And that's how the programs work inside of our MPC. And that was a plug-in program and a drum program. Now, a MIDI program is just mostly MIDI notes. So I come to here, and you'll see that there's just MIDI notes here, right? And the effect here is one, two, three. It's like tons of this here for our MIDI parameters. And then also, the next one we have here is a different group, and this is a clip group. And a clip group, you'll see it like this. You'll see the pad, and we'll see the project and the samples.